Here comes your field. Happy New Year. Let's make some noise. The field of 24 is on the first day of 2024. Green at Bunbury. Oldfield shuts it down straight away on Williamson, but Williamson's not done here. In the three is a drag race down the back straight for the first time. Williamson hung out to dry there. He'll have to settle for second as everybody makes their way through for the first time. It's on between Eliason and Abreu into turn one. The Americans going side by side, but down the back straight, Luke Oldfield leads the first lap. And Luke Oldfield leads. Williamson's gone wide. Abreu is right there with him. Back to Corey Eliason, and in fifth place is Jamie Mayolo. They're all safely through the first couple of laps. Two down. In turn one and two, and we've gone red. Spun in sympathy, I think, the 92.9 car. Um, TP has climbed out of his car already. Is he going over? He is. To have a chat. And the official's just saying, call it, fella. Red's on, early stages. He's going back in for more here, and it's actually erupted between the two. Chris Mitchell's probably closer than what we are. I'm only watching on our screens up here in the commentary position. And quickly to recover that 19. Turn three and four, he puts the foot down. Away we go on this restart. He leads Callum Williamson around the cone. Rico Abreu dives to the inside of Williamson pretty quickly, moves into second place. Williamson back round the outside, goes back to second. Rico comes back underneath of Keller Williamson and takes second place yet again. Good battle, isn't it, between the two? It took a lap to get done, but Abreu drops into second spot now and goes after Luke Oldfield down the back straight. And back in fifth place is Jamie Mayolo. Into the main straight they come. They're in the lap traffic. Our race leader is that of Luke Oldfield. There's a wall of cars ahead of him. Abreu will start to close the gap as Holfield comes up on the back markers. So our leader starts to pick his way through. Abreu knows this is his moment. Oldfield trying to split two cars here down the back straight. Almost comes to grief but gets it done. So three cars now in between he and Rico Abreu as they complete another lap now. The big winner was Oldfield in that one. So move out of turn number one and two. Oldfield has one lap car, which is Cam McKenzie between he and uh, Abreu. Now there's another lap car as Abreu goes under Cam McKenzie. And Brad Sweet runs in sixth. So move down the main straight again. No lap cars between first and second. Third place is still Callum Williamson. He's been hounded by Corey Elison. They're running on the outside. So run down the back straight. Abreu trying to stay with our race leader, Luke Oldfield. We come up now, complete lap number 13, 17 to go. Still plenty of traffic. They're coming up behind Jason Kendrick. Down the back straight, about seven car oh, lengths between first and second. Sweet's out. Sweet is out. Oh, what a slider. By Oldfield underneath of, Old, of, of, <laughs> of Jason it's, Kendrick. It's all happening here at Bunbury. Brad Sweet is out of the race in the Napa Auto Parts car. Oldfield and Abreu less than six tenths of a second between the two of them as they come around to complete another lap. In fact, he's gone to the lead now. So Abreu into the lead from Oldfield. Lap 15, halfway home in tonight's A-Main. Has Oldfield got something? They go at it again down here. Out of the final turn. Oldfield up on two wheels down the back straight. Jared O'Brien nearly jumped out of the box as they come out of turn number four. Heavy, heavy traffic. Oldfield trying to mow down a brew. We've got uh, 10 to go. They move out of turn number two. Trouble for JD Dack, who keeps mobile. And like the other night, we're still at a whole heap of cars on the racetrack. 21 of them, in fact, with uh, uh, nine months to go. Oldfield hasn't lost touch. Anything Abreu does, the 65 has got a response but the lap traffic is running out. This is his big chance as he closes up towards him again in turn number three. They've pulled away from the rest of the field. The gap is half a second at the finish line. Abreu parking the car anywhere he likes right now in that 24 to Nanny Hotshots entry. Luke Oldfield driving one of the best nights of his WA career so far in the Pete Motorsport, number 65. Seven laps to go, Luke Oldfield is driving the wheels off the 65, staying with one of the world's best, 
Back in third place, still Corey Eliasson from Callum Williamson. Here comes Oldfield again. They come into the main straight. And Rico A. Bruce on the curb. Here comes Oldfield on the outside. They go into turn one and two. Oh. Nearly contact between the two as they run the back straight. Read that well, didn't he, Oldfield? It was a mistake from Abreu through the middle of the turn. They still haven't got past Caden Manders here in the number 60. This race is anybody's with five laps remaining. Gap is six tenths of a second. They still haven't cleared these two lap cars. Down the back straight is Lancaster. Here comes Oldfield once again, side by side. Tucks in behind the 24. They still haven't got past Lancaster. And Manders, this time Abreu has. Could that be the moment of the race? It may well be. He gets a lap car between he and Oldfield. They come out of turn four. Three laps to go this time around. A brew leads from Oldfield. Corey Eliasson and Callum Williamson. Still 21 cars on track. It'll be two to go next time by. What a thriller it's been for Abreu. Luke Oldfield has time run out. Lap car between himself and Abreu. Biggest the margin's been all race long. It's out to 1.2 seconds. It'll be white flag next time by. Elias it still runs in third with Williamson and Mayolo. One remains for Rico Abreu. The Danani Hotshots car is looking hot tonight. Through the final lap we go down the back straight. What a masterclass effort once again. Luke Oldfield through everything at Rico Abreu. And it's going to be the California kid that does it again. Two from three. It's Sprint Car Speed Week. Oldfield home for second, but can stand proud racing with Rico Abreu. With As we await for Rico Abreu to climb out and do what he does best, to climb up on that top wing. Trophy presentations will happen very soon. Of course, the late models to wrap up the night here on New Year's night at Bunbury. There he is. Rico Abreu wins his second night of Speed Week in seven days. Got to love those kind of races.